As a leader in the global optical access field, what is ZTE's perspective on the growth and direction of optical access in the future? Currently, the global optical broadband access network is undergoing significant changes. In terms of access networks, on the one hand, the construction of optical networks will continue to deepen and the world will enter the gigabit era. Uh, according to a third-party consultancy assessment, FTTX has become the mainstream access mode of fixed broadband users, uh, accounting for 60% by 2023. More than 300 operators globally have offered gigabit services, and the operators in some countries, including the US, Europe, and Japan have been launched 10G broadband services as well. On the other hand, the next pound technology cycle approaches as the 50 gigapound industry chain matures. It is expected that 50 gigapound will be put into commercial use in 2025 and move into large scale commercial deployment phase in 2027 to 2028. The gigabit experience expands to every room and users in every home. From the perspective of worldwide development, the demand for 10G Pong Wi-Fi 6 has expanded dramatically, and Wi-Fi 7 is gradually commercially available. Mesh Wi-Fi not only brings coverage enhancement, but also becomes a means for operators to increase their revenues from home broadband operation. Uh, the gigabit experience extends further to every room and user in every home. From the perspective of global development, the demands for 10G Pong Wi-Fi 6 have grown significantly, and Wi-Fi 7 have been put into commercial use gradually. In addition to coverage enhancement, mesh Wi-Fi has also become a value-added means for operators to carry out broadband operations. Furthermore, the FTTR or optical Wi-Fi, which is based on the optical fibers, is gradually emerging and has achieved large-scale development in China, becoming the ultimate networking solution for seamless gigabit experience. Mm. And a broadband smart home ecosystem is being built based on customers' different needs for entertainment, intelligent control, security, and other scenarios as well as the support from emerging technologies, such as AI and computing power. The industry is changing, and in the face of that change, what innovative product offerings has ZTE brought to us at NWC 2024? This year in Barcelona, ZTE brings the new products solutions in the optical access and the smart home domains. With a focus on industry changes and the market trend, or it's Oriented to 10G evolution, ZT has launched an end-to-end 50 gigapound solution, which includes an eight-port symmetrical three-model 50 gigapound LAN card and a symmetric 50 gigapound ONU. Further promoting the industry maturity and meeting large-scale deployment requirements. At Network X held in October 23, ZT launched the industry's first terabit or optical access platform, 600 Enhanced, which provides a powerful foundation for 10G access. In response to continuous adv advancement of optical fiber construction, ZT have launched the fiber fingerprint solution to improve the optical network operation and maintenance efficiency, and make the network uh, visible, uh, manageable, and easy to operate and maintain. Our return to the smart home, ZT has unveiled more than 10 industry-leading Link Pro series Wi-Fi 7 CPs for home network connections, which can flexibly adapt to diverse network scenarios and have reached a speed measurement for over 14 gigabits. That's the fastest speed actually in the worldwide current. And uh, to improve the management capability of home networks, ZT has released the industry's first integrated management platform, the Smart Cloud Platform 2.0, to implement visible, visible and remote manageable of the home network. Through the service level view, the Smart Cloud Platform 2.0 not only perceives and guarantees users' experience, but also helps operators implement precise marketing and increase the revenues. For home services, ZT has launched a new home media computing center 
a 4K Zapper SDB, and a new generation Stick TV set -up box, which also support 4K. And uh, the Home Media Computing Center combines the capabilities of, capabilities of traditional set -up boxes with storage, computing power, and the intelligent control, helping operators build a smart home capability center and explore more home entertainment and the interaction scenarios. What is ZTE's market performance in the optical access field? And what are your plans for 2024? As a leader in the optical broadband field, ZTE has been at the forefront of the industry in terms of market performance and the technical solutions. According to the latest third-party consulting report, ZTE has been ranked the top two globally in the 50TX market, and the first in Pong ONT shipments, and the first in IP set box as well. In the latest FTTB report released by Global Data, the optical access platform Titan received the highest leader rating for the continuous three years, and the ONTs received the highest leader rating. In the face of industry changes and customer demands, ZTE will strengthen research and development innovation in new products and solutions, and explore more scenarios and commercial cooperation in market applications in 2024. For the development of all optical 10G broadband, ZT will collaborate with the industry in 50 gigapon. 50TR-H, FTTR-B, and Wi-Fi 7 exploration and incubate more 10G application scenarios, such as the machine vision quality inspection in 10G parks, naked eye 3D in 10G homes, VR gaming, etc. Meanwhile, with the ubiquitous or optical access, all optical parks have also become a blue ocean market for operators. In 2024, ZT will use all optical networking solutions such as POL and FTTR-B to assist in the transformation of the all optical industry and expand more commercial value-added space. On the home side, Wi-Fi 7 has become a definite development trend. And the ZTE will gradually expand its application scenarios and scale based on the release of new products. ZTE will also launch a series of new FTTR-H and FTTR-B products and solutions to help FTTR fiber to the room move from pilot to maturity in overseas markets and to replicate and apply the operational development experience accumulated globally, helping customers achieving commercial success. And to address the increasing demand for various forms of home media ter terminals in smart homes, ZTE will also lead the industry to expand our imagination in 2024, integrating functions such as projectors, speakers, artificial intelligence and the computing power on set-up boxes, ZT will continue to deepen cooperation with global operators, further explore new forms of products, create high-quality home terminals, and build a better future of smart homes. With the development of new technologies, such as the AI and the big models, ZT has also deeply integrated AI into every link of access network from top to bottom. By integrating an intelligent network management platform, ZT can achieve end-to-end -end network visibility and management from the access side, audience side, and home side throughout the uh, entire process of planning. Hmm. Operation helping operator increase the efficiency and operational value. ZT's access network also deeply implements the concept of green energy conservation on the one hand, ZT continues to make breakthroughs in core technology fields, such as chips, materials, and uh, algorithms, achieving the multi-dimensional energy-saving technologies, and the AI scheduling management from the device level, card level, port level, and the chip level. Meanwhile, we're creating the green, low-carbon emission or optical access network. On the other hand, ZT adheres to the principle of sustainable development from product design, material use to end of life cycle, and 100% reuse of product modules, recyclable and reproducible raw materials, green and environment-friendly packaging materials, 
ZT has been recognized for its outstanding actions against the climate change, attending a position on the CDP, which means the Carbon Disclosure Project in 2023, at least recently. And placing uh, in the top 2% of all participating companies. Michael, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for these valuable insights. Uh, it's been very interesting. Thank you. Thank you for your time.